Tom Clancy's Without Remorse is a the latest movie starring Michael B. Jordan. His name is John Kelly. He is a Marine. In the film's opening sequence, him and his squad uh, go into Syria and they uh, rescue an agent. However, they were told something and something else happened. And, you know, it's a shady mission. However, um, something bad happens and um, the squad members are facing retaliation by um, Russian agents. So John is now part of a investigative uh, c criminal conspiracy to find out, you know, who's coming after him. And this movie is very generic and pedestrian. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's got solid direction from the guy who did Sicario 2, Day of the Soltado. The action sequences are solid. There's some pretty nice set pieces in there. Lots of gritty, realistic, you know, like cover, you know, you know, like, back me up, you know, and and you know, the cast does a good job. Uh, Michael B. Jordan's there, but he doesn't get to do much. You know, he's um, the stoic, heroic badass, but he doesn't really get to do any acting. It's mostly physical stuff. And then um, he's backed up by a pretty good cast. Uh, he's got his, um, his like, commanding officer. She's pretty cool. She gets a cool moment. And then there's, like, the asshole boss character. He's cool. He gets a moment. But overall, the plot's very, like, simple. It's very simple. You know, he's got to find out who is coming after him. They go to Russia to find out who, double cross, you know, stuff, twists, you know, big action set pieces, um, very simplistic finale. Um, now I did a little digging to find out like what's going on. Uh, it's based off of Tom Clancy's novel Without Remorse that came out in 1993. However, the, apparently that novel is a lot different. It takes place, um, John Kelly served in the Vietnam War, so this one's like an updated version, and they, they change a lot of the stuff around, so that's probably the reason why. They didn't stick to the source material, for one thing. They just wanted the characters, and I guess that kind of hurts the film, because, you know, if you just take the names and the... That's it, and then you try to just make a new plot, and then the new plot isn't very inventive or anything, then you get a very generic action flick thriller that has a lot of stuff that you've seen before. You know, there's a, the, the scene, you know, there's like a scene that's very similar to the Bourne Identity finale. And then there's a plane crash scene that's pretty cool. And then there's the opening sequence is okay. You know, it's just, yeah, it's just a very meh movie. I do enjoy the cast and uh, they do a fine job, but the, the script definitely needed to be a lot better. I mean, I didn't really feel tense at all in this movie. And uh, overall, without remorse, you know, I don't know how much the, the budget was, but it was probably pretty high. And I don't think it was worth it because they didn't do enough good enough job to make this movie like the new, you know, action franchise for Michael B. Jordan. This is not a, you know, a new thing we're going to look forward to every two or three years. So uh, overall, without remorse, you know, it's a one and done. I mean, I wouldn't get Prime just to watch it, but if you get Prime to watch something else... I mean, it's, it's not awful. So I give uh, Without Remorse a 4 out of 10.